Are you sick of listening to people harp on about their New Year's resolutions? Instead of adopting new resolutions that I know I won't keep in 2018, I'm simply going to leave my bad habits in 2017. I'm Aideen and I'm the content manager at Code Institute. Today, I'm going to look at some common negative habits that actually prevent us from being happy and successful. Let's take a look at where you can start. Do you have any routines that affect your mood negatively? If you're uneasy with something, it can create negative feelings that affect your mood and ultimately your happiness. Let's take a look at five common habits that we should leave behind in 2017. Number one, anxiety and imposter syndrome. Anxiety can be crippling. If you experienced a lot of anxiety in 2017, then you need to develop a mechanism to manage it. If you're starting a new job or a new career, it's natural to feel anxious. But in order to maximize your potential, your anxiety needs to be controlled. Have you heard of imposter syndrome? It's a particular experience of anxiety which brings about a sense that you're just not up to a task. If you're in a new job, you might feel like a fraud. Did you know that over 70% of the global population experiences imposter syndrome at least once? So what can you do about it? You need to start challenging any negative thoughts that you're having. Maybe the thought is, I'm no good at my job. If you let it, this thought could do serious damage to your self-esteem. To counteract this belief, write down a few positive thoughts about yourself and read over them for a week. These will undermine any negative feelings that you're having. They will also help to boost your confidence significantly over time. Barbara Fredrickson is a positive psychology researcher and a recent study of hers involved participants reading over positive affirmations about themselves for three days. Her research measured an increase in positivity following this practical exercise. It's simple but effective, so why not give it a go? Number two, guilt. Do you have a habit that makes you feel guilty? Put aside this activity in your mind and ask yourself if you'd miss it. If you can live a happier, guilt-free life without it, then why not try giving it up? Your guilt is telling you something and it might be the time to listen. Life is short, don't waste your time feeling negative. I did some research into how guilt affects our happiness and there is plenty of scientific evidence to suggest that guilt is very damaging. According to clinical psychologist Russell Krager, Guilt can cause emotional distress, which actually prevents happiness. If you want to enjoy a happier life, then try quitting your guilty habit. Instead, take up a hobby that you know will be good for you and enjoy the positive ramifications of it. Is there something you put on the back burner in 2017? Start it today. Number three, stress. Life can be unpredictable and it's natural to worry about things. But when your stress prevents you from being happy or enjoying success, it's time to take action. I know if I'm worrying unnecessarily, looking at the bigger picture helps to put things in perspective. Ask yourself how important this worry is in the context of your whole life. Are there aspects of your life that you're grateful for? Have a look back over other things that you were worried about in the past. Did they ever happen? Did you recover? Focusing on the positive aspects of your life and your own strength will diminish your stress levels and make you feel more capable. Number four, pessimism. Would you classify yourself as a pessimist or an optimist? Countless research studies prove that optimists generally enjoy a healthier lifestyle. They suffer less from cardiovascular diseases, recover more quickly from surgeries and enjoy a longer, less stressful life. So how can you adopt a more positive outlook in life? When you're presented with a career challenge or a tough situation, do you become overwhelmed by negative thoughts? Instead of letting them take hold, ask yourself, what if the opposite result is the outcome? Hopefully this will undermine any negativity you're experiencing. Are you searching for a new hobby that will start your day in the right way? I'd like to think I'm an optimist and I work on maintaining my positive outlook every day. I do mindfulness every morning before work and it gives me a boost of positive energy for the day. It relaxes me and strengthens my capacity for stress. 
I go into work feeling ready for whatever is thrown at me. If you are trying to be more positive in work and life, then this is a great way to channel that energy. Everyone loves working with optimists because there's never a problem that can't be solved. A study conducted by positive psychology researcher Barbara Fredrickson found that people who meditated daily for three months experienced an increase in positive emotions. Why not start your day with a 10 minute meditation or a mindfulness exercise? It might give you exactly what you need. Number five, career paralysis. Are you happy in your job? Did you spend most of 2017 telling yourself that you'd finally get a new job? Or that you'd have that difficult chat with your boss about the salary you know you deserve? If you have an overwhelming feeling of dread when you think about going into work tomorrow, then it's time for a change. In order to be happy in 2018, you need to leave your regrets in 2017. Beginning a new professional journey can be tough, but don't let fear hold you back. No matter what age you are, it's never too late to change your career. We spend 25 to 30% of our waking hours working. That's a significant part of your life. You should be doing something that makes you happy. Write a list of jobs you'd like and the skills you have. You might even find a course that will help transform your career in a few months. If you're interested in a career in software development, check out our career changing courses on codeinstitute.net. That's it from me. I hope those tips were helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool content and check out what we're up to on codeinstitute.net. Bye.